What's up everybody? I'm trying something new with this uh, new app I got on my phone, so that's why there's a little delay in me talking. But hopefully you got a nice little view of every figure that we're going to go over real quick. And the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is the lovely actress Evangeline Lilly. Uh, this is from the Cole Obsidian Marvel Legends wave that just came out not too long ago. And she actually comes with quite a bit. You can see that she has the uh, the wings on her back there. She does have that wonderful face print technology. Uh, she has a nice little sheen on the uh, gold and the reds and uh, uh, actually all over. It's just a really nice paint job. Uh, I like how crisp the lines are all over. I like the texture of the suit. Got a little ponytail back there. And this actually pops off right there so you can either have that one or you can have the one that's closed that just pops in right there she also comes with several well actually several I'm just used to saying that word she comes with a couple sets of hands so she's got the closed fist she has another closed fist I'm not sure why she came with that but and she also comes with two hands that are wide open like she's flying and then she also has this hat or <laughs> her helmet uh, which does have a nice sculpt on the inside you can see it there through the translucent yellow uh, so this is a really cool figure uh, she's definitely uh, a welcome part of the MCU for sure I had a crush on her ever since I saw her in uh, what was it the Hobbit she was that sexy ass elf so there is wasp marvel's wasp can't wait for ant-man and the wasp to come out all right and since we talked about her let's go ahead and take a look at paul rudd with his smirk of smirkiness going on he does have one issue that i found actually a couple issues uh i think the forehead is just a little too predominant and then as you can see right there by his sideburns he's got a little little of the flesh paint that comes off but that's okay that's a easy little fix up but as far as the suit awesome awesome suit I mean if if I was just to see a pro promotional image of this I would think that it's like an SH figure arts uh, that's just how good the detail is he also comes with that helmet he doesn't have the translucent see-through eyes that uh, the wasp has but it it still looks very very good I like the texture of the suit you have this nice cross hatching all the way through you have the nice silver sheen the reds crisp lines very very good looking figure and all of these have decent posability he does he can't look up too good I mean that's about as far as you're gonna get it does rotate all the way around and you can bend them up just a little bit but everything else is typical Marvel Legends this one's a little stiff but it's easy to get worked in into a good pose there's old Paul Rudd Ant-Man next this is definitely one of my favorites this, this is probably the best Marvel Legends line that I've seen come out in a long time as far as all of the figures, uh, except one, but now the more I've come to play with it and pose it, the more I like it, but uh, I definitely love this figure. Uh, this is Marvel's Black Knight, and he, as you can see, he comes with uh, three different uh, swappable heads. He's got the nice chainmail, kind of light baby blue metallic paint. Uh, he has nice clean lines in here. Uh, the sword actually comes out of the sheath, so you can pose him with his, sh his sword. And there's he's got the nice blue cape. And I really, really like this figure. I like any kind of medieval figure. He didn't come with any changeable hands though, but that's okay. You got three heads. Can't complain. Next, let's take a look. This is probably my least favorite in the way, but I do like that it is a, uh, looks like a new sculpt altogether. And he does have that bu beautiful flowing golden locks. Uh, you got, this is Malekith, uh, if you didn't know. 
and he does have a pretty decent paint job but it is kind of simple all the way around you can see look at that hair that hair is just crazy so there's Malekith and you got the little utility belt that's kind of loose on him next let's take a look at the uber hottie black widow with the blonde hair she comes with a couple batons and she comes with uh, are those the things that uh, shock I can't, I can't remember I'm a little little sickly right now so I'm gonna blame it on that but uh, has great great hair I love the texture of the hair I like that uh, it's kind of dirty blonde all the way through it's not just one flat color you have the uh, different textures in the suit uh, going from smooth uh, the zipper up top even has a little bit of a texture to it so you can kind of differentiate from the pocket itself it does have that nice did I already say face print or face print technology I just can't get over that I mean if you told me when I was like 12 years old that figures would look like this I would say that's fucking awesome I can't wait <laughs> so now it's here but pretty cool Scarlett Johansson mm -mm -mm. let's go from one hottie to the next give it up for Chris Hemsworth Thor he's got the nice chain mail it's not as nice as the uh, the dark knight or the black knight as you can see a little different which is nice I like a little variation but he also has the face print technology he's got that scar above his uh, right eye and he comes with the, uh, the axe there with the lightning effect and I like how that the uh, how they did the uh, cape on the back very nice texture oops and the hair also can't get over the hair I just really like that texture to it very nice detail and the beard itself I mean these figures just blow me away what they're able to do nowadays and then last but not least we have Cole Obsidian the big brute he is beastly and he comes with this hammer which is pretty lightweight but it does have some nice detail it's not a thick plastic at all he only comes with the splayed open hands like that. Uh, really good detail in the face though. They did a good job on that. It's got this little armor plating right here that you can move up and down. The articulation is pretty decent for a big figure like him. Uh, he can look up pretty well. Look down, side, side. Uh, he does have a little bit of a hindrance right there. But he can get into some pretty decent poses with what you got to work with and of course you got those big old feet so it is pretty easy to keep them standing up but all in all I really 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 like this uh, wave so if you haven't got a chance to pick them up they're uh, available you can get them in bulk at the big bad toy store or dorksidetoys.com uh, other than that that's all I got Hope you enjoyed this little video of a quick run through of the Marvel Legends wave. Um, go see the movie Infinity War if you haven't. It's amazing. I can't wait for it to come out on DVD. So, other than that, I'm going to quit rambling. Everybody have a good one. Be good to one another out there.